According to a March 2009 United Nations press release, world population is projected to reach 9.1 billion by the year 2050. It sounds like we're in for more traffic, more competition for jobs, more crowded cities. Do you think overpopulation's a problem? You might want to think again. It's happening in rich countries, it's happening in poor countries, it's happening in Catholic countries, Islamic countries, and that is everywhere uh, people are having fewer and fewer children. Catastrophically falling birth rates, well below the replacement level, what some call the demographic winter of Western societies. Part one of this film addressed various causes and consequences of fertility decline. This film explores a movement that reinforced them all. It was common to say in the 1970s a very basic truth, and that is, whatever your cause, it's a lost cause without population control. All of these movements are deeply informed by a 1970s era preoccupation with the so-called population bomb. Its goal was to insert the population issue into the environmental discussion, and from that point of view, it was certainly a success. The reason he was wrong is because, of course, when every, every uh, new person comes into the world, they bring not just a mouth to feed, uh, but also uh, two hands to help. It may lead to unintended consequences that can backfire. It's entirely possible that the French will disappear. There will be no native-born Frenchmen that come from the traditional population. Exactly how it plays out in each population is going to be an interesting story. There aren't that many people coming along who are going to need the size of home that the baby boomers have. And so it's not surprising, actually that the, the housing market is out, of, is out of kilter. Demographics said, boom, and then bust. And yes, everything unraveled. Real estate, stocks, everything. Is it possible that we have been failed by the very ideas we thought would save us?